Hey everybody, so we're covering today how to dive into some Facebook advanced reporting and understand a bit more about the ad campaign that you've been running. So as a relevant example here, we have a, uh, you go to adsmanager.facebook.com forward slash adsmanager forward slash reporting. And then unless you're like me and you are the admin for a whole bunch of accounts, it should take you to your account and give you a chance to actually uh, start building a pivot table of some advanced data. So usually what happens is you'll choose your dates uh, usually defaults to either this month or the last seven days. Let's get him just doing the last 30 for the purpose of this reporting. Okay. Now, it'll take you right here, and you will see the reach, impressions, frequency. Like, this all looks basically the same as if you're sitting in Facebook's regular reporting. This isn't very exciting. But what I can do from here is pretty impressive. I can do things like say, hey, show me the country these all served in. Now, these ads, they ran in the United States of America. Okay. I can also say, show me the region they ran in. And now I can start to see how these were serving in various regions and what part of my traffic came from which region. And then I can say, hey, you know what? I actually want to know, for the purposes of minimum viable sprint, I usually do, what was not the CTR all, that's not the CTR that we care about. We care about CTR and what we want is the link CTR, this one. Now I can see data such as the fact that now in Texas, performance on this campaign, not super exciting, but in California, it was actually pretty good. Now when we get down to something like six clicks, we're running at the edge of statistical relevance, right? Six clicks on 570 impressions. Maybe this is doing okay, right? It's small enough on the impressions and clicks that you begin to not trust it anymore. But I can now start to say things like, if I were to want to run this set of ads again, probably wouldn't want to run it in Texas, probably wouldn't want to run it in Tennessee, those people don't seem super interested. There's other areas like Alabama, like California, where we have enough impressions and enough clicks, right, 1,400 impressions, 13 clicks, that we can start to say, hmm, this is probably statistically true. But that's just one example. If I go back here to the breakdown, let me clear out CTR, and I say, I don't care about region. Uh, instead, I want to know about the platform. Right. What were they on? Facebook, the audience network, or Instagram? Right. Which ones are actually engaging more? And I can see Instagram actually did pretty well on that first run. And then uh, nothing seems to really pop in the second. Nothing served in Instagram on the second. Okay. You might know if I want to run these ads again. I might focus on Instagram. I might focus on California. Right. Stack the deck and make it more likely that people who were interested in what I had to say are more going to be shown the ads we're talking about. Uh, you can go into this and really start to understand a whole lot about your data by diving in here. Taking advantage of these advanced reporting tools is one of the things that when you're in the learning phase of building a marketing campaign, you want to understand how do I know what's working so I can do more of that. This is an invaluable tool for that. And the information you're learning here is also going to apply across other platforms. If I say, for example, Instagram has done super well for this set of ads for this given audience, maybe I want to try TikTok out as well. It's pretty similar. Maybe I want to try a YouTube Reel as well. It's pretty similar. So I could say, hey, maybe Meta only has, I can only get 1,000 clicks a month out of really interested people from Instagram. But if I tried YouTube Shorts, maybe I'd find another two, three, five thousand from there. Maybe TikTok would find me another one to four thousand there. So I begin to have ways I can take what I've learned about just targeting people in this area here and apply it to other similar ad platforms across the internet. I hope that you take some time, dive into the advanced ads reporting for your ads account, and really begin to understand more about how you can improve all of your marketing based off what you learn from Meta. If you have any questions, as always, reach out. Crowd Tamers on Twitter, reach out to me, Trevor Longino on LinkedIn. Be happy to hear more from you.